Hello students, I am Imani Sharma, your UGC Net Educator. In this new YouTube video, we are going to move forward with the concept series which are based on the paper 1 of UGC Net. So, we have been covering certain things related to the unit of ICT that is information and communication technology and the same case is in this very video where we are going to talk about three types of network from which the questions are generally asked and students tend to get confused that what is the differentiation between intranet and extranet correct so before even jumping on to that very thing i have one thing to say that we are starting with the paper one course from the 10th of july right apart from that we are also starting for ugc net english literature which is subject specific for paper two and the same case is with paper two political science for ugc net so these three papers are being taught and the classes will be starting from the 10th of july so you can get enroll yourselves there for more information you can click on the link provided in the description below and of course visit that very particular thing now coming back here again what do we really mean by internet what do we mean by intranet extranet why are we talking about them first of all there is an introduction that we need to know the networks how they are interconnected to one another what is the basic differentiation amongst the two or three of them because internet intranet and you know extranet all of them are interconnected that serve different purposes so we know internet we all use all of us have data packs installed in our you know our phones mobile phones we have wi-fi at our places so on and so forth so data packs etc all these things how we are using how we are getting access to instagram how we are getting access to youtube even where you are viewing this video right now so that is through the usage of internet which is a global network correct Understanding the uses and differentiation and if there are any similarities, comparisons which are supposed to be drawn by us is crucial for effective communication and collaboration. And what kind of communication we are talking about in here? We are talking about the network related communication. Correct? So first thing we are going to talk about is internet. So, internet as I told you, it is a term which under which, you know, intranet and extranet come. So, basically it is a network of networks or we can call it a global network because globally people in the entire world, they are using internet for serving different purposes. Correct? It is a global network that connects millions and millions of computers and devices worldwide. So even if you are sitting right now in Mumbai, let's just say, and your relative is in US, you can connect via internet. So it is a global network even if you are having separate Wi-Fi connections, separate data packets, etc. But the connection which is being drawn here is internet. Correct? It enables communication information sharing like we share our photographs we share documents etc correct and access to various online services access to various online services like we go to flipkart amazon mintra etc to buy certain things not just that but there are other initiatives which have been taken by the government of india so the e-government portals which are there they are also really crucial for that matter examples are the websites that you visit for example google right that is also an example email services for email you can send from your home to your office, your home to any person sitting here and there in the world, correct? Search engines which are there, for example, we have Google, Yahoo, where you search for information, how you are using it. You are using it with the help of internet. Social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook we have. We have different different clubhouse for that matter which was really prominent in the times of COVID and online shopping sites of which I already gave you the example, correct? Now what are the uses of internet? We already have talked about some of them that online services lay sakte, right? Organizations to access and share information globally. Now let's just say that you are a company and you are having your network, you are trying to connect with a person, with your client who is from let's just say England, 
so for that very particular thing if you are trying to sell your services sell your products to that very particular client who is sitting in uk right you are first of all going to share some kind of information you will make a brochure you will get connected to them through whatsapp mail so on and so forth so you are making them have access to information that you have so on and so forth and you will be sharing data also it facilitates communication through email instant messaging for which we have examples of wechat whatsapp we used to have vibe hike etc and video conferencing you can video call your friends who are sitting you know far away from you provides access to vast amounts of information for research for that matter for ugc net correct for the classes which will be provided by drishti learning application they will also be held even if you are going to first of all have to have an internet connection there so you see that how in today's time we really cannot survive without it we can of course but because of the curiosity that is in all of us correct which should be there If this is the one thing that i promote the curiosity that we all have we want an answer to each and every question so that can be found over the internet because it contains vast types of information vast amount of information supports various services such as e-commerce from where you buy online banking now you have you can have your banking statement there you can make you know transactions using upi right but digital entertainment you can view things on geo cinema voot netflix amazon prime hotstar so digital entertainment is there and social networking bar bar se wahi fb ho gaya facebook ho gaya correct instagram etc then comes intranet now intranet is something which is owned this is a type of network which is owned by a particular organization so let me just here give you a quick example of pepsi we all would have heard of its name correct we all would have you know drank it as a soft drink so they also have a portal titled my pepsi co this is their portal and here the information whatever is there which is regarding the company their employees if they are supposed to you know gather some kind of information and that is just meant for the employees and staff of that particular organization titled or named pepsi only those people are going to get access no other person who is from outside going to get access to those documents etc so intranet is in so how you are going to memorize it in in the company or the organization private network internet is a public network available to all intranet is a private network accessible only to authorized users within an organization as i already gave you an example that pepsi also has its own portal for storing such information internal communication takes place through it collaboration tools for examples we have example we have teams we have sharepoint these are certain examples of intranet examples company portals document management systems where your whole your entire profile is stated and how many leaves have you taken how many leaves are left for you to take what are the holidays which are coming etc that is there in the document management system employee directories which employee to reach by calling which number or where do they sit and internal wikipedias or wikis etc so this is an you know a definition of what we know as intranet correct then what are the uses streamline internal communication and enhance collaboration now first of all you will be able to gain access to the other person because you will be knowing that through the directories which are there 
to through the same portal which is providing you with such information which is just and just meant to for you as you are part of the organization so any and every employee who is a part of an organization will get access and that will streamline that you will not have to ask your manager your reporting manager etc but you will directly or you can reach or ask that very person directly provide a centralized platform for sharing company news like any notices which are there any policies which are created and announcements facilitates document management which allows employees to access and collaborate on files which are there so let's just say i am sharing a link to my group on teams and on teams as well only the people who are added they will be having access so let's just say i have added one person and the second person and i have just provided them with the same file one one dot doc this is the name of the file correct so they will both be making the edits in the real time and that will show so they can collaborate there they can make changes in the files which are provided there offer project management tools team collaboration spaces and discussion forums where you can share your ideas share your point of views as well so this is the use of intranet what are the benefits of course internal communication takes place really lucidly right fostering employee engagement and alignment the employees are engaged and they know where to reach for what matter so the internal communication is streamlined as we saw in the previous slide as well centralized centralized information which reduces redundancy and promoting knowledge sharing that yes if i have this idea i can use the discussion forum and i can let the other people know about this because this is going to make the task easier for them correct enhance productivity of course and support secure document storage because no other person from outside the organization will be having access to that very thing hence it will be secured properly and it will be confidentially stored then we have extranet here we have the word x correct so x means bahar se so of course here extranet which is you know trying to connect it is again a private network but it is going to extend the documents etc to an external user for example let's just say it extend first of all let's just read it extends an organization's intranet so any documents any files etc which you have on your private network in the organizational sphere you can share it to selected external users by granting them the permission by authorizing them correct so secure collaboration here let me just give you an example the client i was talking about the client so there is this person who is outside of your company you want them to know the services and the products that you offer let's just say that you offer kurtis right you offer you deal with women wear and of course you are letting or you are showing the client you have exclusive designs which are really unique uh, just like manish malhotra for that matter if i can say that right so you are making those very particular kurtis which are really unique exclusive you do not want your designs to be shared outside the organization but of course you want to sell it to a client so they will again they will be authorized correct the things will be shared with them over the network on what will that network be called that network will be called extra net but there are certain policies that they cannot leak the information that they have seen through the internet the collaboration tools which are there the confidential information etc should not be leaked examples are supplier portals any suppliers which are there Cl client collaboration platforms just gave you the example partners access to share resources so what are the uses collaboration and information exchange can be done with the partners with the people who are outside of your organization so that is one thing which will be maintaining some kind of you know having some kind of suppliers and clients in hand provide secure access to specific sections so even if a person from using the extranet network comes in gets access to certain documents they will not be able to gather even if they are coming through 
the intranet ka extended version that is extranet they will not be able to gain access to the entire organization's document just the selected portion which is authorized to de them they will be gaining access to that very particular thing only sharing of confidential documents can be done here project management and joint planning so any client let's just say who is coming there to collaborate with you and says that I also have certain designs. Let's just collaborate. So that, uh, you know, confidential information that collaboration can take place using Extranet. Supports communication, collaboration and real-time data exchange there and then. And now we have the benefits of using Extranet. Foster stronger relationships and collaborations with partners because of course they are getting access and they, you are collaborating over some kind of network with them and exchanging ideas. Correct? Projects coordination and streamlines communication which takes place over that very particular network because you all know what do you want from each other. You are just letting them have access to the data which they only need. So of course, your whole company is not at all in any kind of you know danger. Enhances data security by allowing control access to sensitive information, the point I just said. And of course, here, in the extranet, we have VPN and we have firewalls. Hence, because of the usage of VPN, VPN ki full form, you guys will be letting me know in the comment section below. What is the full form of VPN? Hmm? They enable efficient sharing of product information. Now, because of the fact that there are firewalls, any kind of malicious threats, etc. Any, there is this particular layering which is done to ensure the security, the maximum security that is done through firewalls. Now, comparison, internet, we all know, as I already told you, is a network of networks, is a global network, right? And it is available publicly. Intranet, private network, Restricted to internal. So, internal users, of course, are going to use intranet, in and in. Then we have extranet, external users are going to have access to particular amount of information which the, you know, which you want to share particularly from your organizational sphere with the trusted partners. So, now here I have certain things. So, this is how it works. This is a global network. This very particular thing, this entire circle is internet, which is publicly available. As I already told you in the beginning of the lecture as well, that extranet and intranet, they come under internet because of course to run them also we require internet. So then comes extranet which is the external layer where suppliers and customers will be there. I'll show another example to make it more clear to you. And then we have intranet. The internal members of the organizations will be having access to this. Another example I have in here is that this fair is the world. Then we have the collaborators in the extranet, the suppliers, the customers with whom we are going to deal using internet. But of course, internet ka sub form because they are external users. So we don't want the entire information of our organization leaked. Hence, we are using extranet connection. But for the company's internal working, we are using intranet that is a private network. So of course, intranet and extranet, intra net and extranet they both have private networks whereas internet is a public a global network which is there so these three are the ones which serve different different types of purposes we have already seen internet works globally extranet works with the external users which are not the part of the organization and intranet works in and within the organization and their internal employees which are authorized internet global connectivity intranet internal communication already told you and extranet secure collaboration with the external partners which are con trying to connect with your organization correct so this is what we were supposed to do and I hope the entire confusion and fuss about intranet and extranet is clear to you now. Correct? I'll see you again in another video. Till then you all keep on studying. Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye-bye.